I got a break from our walkway edition just down the street. Want to check out this project and see what all the social media buzz was about. I can see these pair of 20 by 30s in this long linear pattern bordered with Squadra, triple band of Squadra. The Evo Low Dark, the Fusion, the puck fixtures from Inlight. What a grand entrance. What a smooth walkway. Hey, Britt. Hey, man. Hey, Pete. How you doing? I'm glad you could meet me out here. Yeah, thank you. Listen, you had me right up into this point, and then you switched to diamond and two colors in an opposite direction. What's going on? This is kind of that focal point. You've got multiple entrances coming from the drive off the front of the house, and it gives a visual focal point because you've got that linear process coming in, and then this, by switching direction, bringing some of those other color and texture into that, and allows that gathering space and then transition from the grand entrance into the yeah. home. The clients or the homeowners are coming out their front door. Absolutely. They've got the para in the linear pattern. Yep. The, the guests pull up and just like I did, and, and they walk up again, linear pattern. Yep. And this is, for lack of a better term, a greeting circle. Am I absolutely. Right? Absolutely. That's you nail on the head. Okay. Now, this intermediate planting bed is hiding something, isn't it? Part of our design, right? What, what's going on here? This space has elevation changes. So from upper porch area to driveway to entry point for the family, okay. there's several steps. So using this bed as well as that Raffinado tread. Yeah, Onyx Black. On Onyx Black, which you can start to see those color repetitions right, going through. Right. It transitions down into that space, but also hides that. So visually, it all looks like the same plane. Because nobody wants to pull up and see a whole bunch of steps. Correct. So Absolutely. we've hidden them with this bed. Now let's uh, let's go back into this patio area. Go ahead, I'll We're follow you. Transition through this uh, planting bed. Beautiful overgrowth. I really love the way that looks. And now we're back on para in a linear pattern. And again, <laughs> you got diamond in two different colors, onyx black and chestnut brown, in a different direction. What's going on here? We wanted to keep that repetition. You start to talk about the different colors, but this tied into the structure, but still giving that focal point coming into the space. But we wanted to have a little bit of variety within the spaces, by, so we changed up the color of the diamond, but still giving that visual focus in the space. Now, if, if this clients are having a big party, this is where the table would go. This is the gathering spot and everything else is ancillary to that. It's very similar to that gathering space, but it's on a larger format being the back patio. Okay, now this shade structure, uh, you used the word, I think, heavy. Yes. Uh, when last time I talked to you, it, it is, it's big and it's heavy, but the colors are relevant to the pavement, am I correct? Absolutely. This structure was the constant at the beginning of the design. It existed and we had to bring it into the space by bringing that modern coloration in. And so by bringing that chestnut and that onyx, same colors from the structure on the ground. All right. So we're tying that vertical in with the horizontal. Wow, I love it. I think it's spectacular. Now we also have that fire pit area here and our bar and grill area here, but you got to get on the road, don't you? Absolutely. I know you got to run. Really appreciate your time, Britt. I appreciate I'll it. I'll take over with Dan. All right. See, see you, ya. buddy. One of the defining design principles is the creation of destinations with height changes. Hey, Dan, how you doing? Pete, what's going on? Nice to see you. Now, hey, good to see you. I'm looking at this fire pit and there's three of them. Explain to me what's going on here. All right, we might have to check your eyesight a little bit because hey, we only got two linear burners, all right? Okay. But where this can be kind of deceiving is we got these it different is. levels, but the key here is I think fire pits should be different. It's part coffee table. You do have a back bench that can kind of, you know, maybe play some trickery with you, but it's, it's you got a large bench that fits the fire pit made out of roughing on a wall that, that sits a lot of people and it's ready for a party. Yeah, it's wider than our two burner area, correct? Yep. Yep. Now, what are you going to do in this lower area here? So I like fire pits to be a little bit different. And I like to add a coffee table section onto a lot of fire, on, on, onto a lot of fire pits. And this is good for a glass of wine or s'mores or just it, it add interest. No, I can see marshmallows and graham crackers and I can see this being a very busy area. And if the bench was full, we have these chairs here, right? Yeah, so if you get hot or cold, you can move these closer or farther away to you know get a little closer if you want. But not everyone wants to sit on the bench 
and because it's stationary. Okay, one of the things I love in landscaping is pillars. And I, I don't really like the standard. I mean, I see them and I like them, but I like them either short or really tall. Yep. And you've got a couple of pillars here that are on the shorter side. There is about 20, 20. We're 24 inches. 24 inches. Ralph and Otto, 90 cap. I like that thickness. And there's quite a bit of, of shelf space here. What's uh, what's your intention? They're a huge squatty pillar. And we had, we did that Raffinato cap on there because we wanted a, a space for a drink or a charcuterie board or just extra extra little ledges. You never know when you might need them. Potted plants, right, they work absolutely. great. Absolutely, container yep. gardening is huge. Yep. And this is all just a wood veneer for the support for this anyway. So I think this is a great space. And this height change over to the bar top. Now this bar top's a standard height of- 42 inch. 42 inches. And that brings us back to our grill island which I believe is 36. Yeah, we bumped down to a 36 inch. 36 inches, height. so we have three gray changes just in this small area. And, and this is, I mean, this is an outdoor kitchen. And we've got a smoker, we've got a fridge, we've got doors and drawers, we've got a grill, and a lot of space to prepare food. My favorite part about this is how much room we have to grab that food, turn, and be able to serve our guests. That's intentional, right? That's something we're always trying to think about. You know, whenever we design, it's not just the family that's there. You got to think about they're having a party, they're going to be having guests over, and you got to think about those extra bodies. So, in, in this case in particular, is you can be working on the food, you're working on it, you can bring it right over. You have a bunch of guests here; they're still at the bar. All right, they got the we got the footrest; they're they're hanging out. We've got a trash drawer on this side. So, what I didn't want is for you to have this awesome patio, but then to be hitting your elbow saying, "Hey." This Excuse me, let me let me get through. We wanted to avoid that. And that's what we think about when we design. One of the elements of your landscaping that I really enjoy is the lighting. Now, I know that you use the in-light uh, lights in the pavement, but here I'm seeing on a vertical plane. Now, when you walk in this area at night and you see all those beautiful puck and in-lights in the pavement, it must look like they just carry up onto the vertical plane of the grill island. Now that's specific to your design. Yeah, we want to be very intentional. That's the look we were going for is when you pull in here and you're walking up, we wanted that vertical. We wanted those lights are going to help bring you vertical. All right. And plus the Rafi Nutter wall is dark. All right. So it just pops yeah, out like flat. a- Yeah. Yeah. It just, it, it pops out a starry night. Yeah. One last question for you. I call it the coffee and book nook. It is not an accident. This is an intentional design area, and there's only two seats here. Again, very intentional. What's your thought for this little area here? Two seats on purpose. This is kind of a little area for mom and dad. You know, it's a, it's a, you're close to mother nature, and it's a good spot where you can sit, and it's a third room to get away and watch the kids. Now, also, this was done on purpose because this room, there's a future to this, all right? We've got an area that we're gonna add a pool later. All right, and it fits in perfectly, but you're gonna to transition to a, to a hot tub, swim spa, or pool in the future. And that's what this is ready to go for. I like the way you're open-minded to any number of those options. Swim spas are real hot right now, and I can see that kind of semi-embedded right in this area. Yep. And the husband and wife sitting right here, cup of coffee in yep. hand, and just enjoying their family cooking over here, fire pits over Absolutely. there, Dan. Thank you hey, very appreciate much. appreciate your time. I appreciate it, Thank brother. you.